Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin. In this video, we are going to solve the problem. Insert a node at a tail of link list. You are given a pointer to the head node of the link list and an integer to add to the list. Create a new node with the given integer. Insert this node at the tail of the link list and return the head node of the link list formed after inserting this new node. The given head pointer may be null, meaning that the initial list is empty. So in this problem, we have two cases. One is that the list is empty. So if the list is empty means head pointer will be null. We have to assign the new node to the head pointer and return it. That is one case. The second case is when the linked list has some elements. So if it has some elements means we have to traverse to the last element of the linked list and insert a new node at the end. So these are the two cases we need to solve. Let's check the constraints. Here n can go up to 1000 and the element of the list can also go up to 1000. So the integers are very small, so we don't need to worry about the constraints here. Let's check some examples. Here we have five insertions. These are the insertion operation. So for each value, the function will be called insert node at tail. We have to insert this element at the end of the list. Like this, we have to perform all the operations. After performing these operations, we have to print all the elements in the linked list in a new line like this in this format. So this printing operation is automatically done in the main function. So we don't need to worry about that. We need to concentrate only on the insertion operation. Let's solve the problem now. First, we have to create a new node for this new data. Create a new node. Node equals so we need to call a particular class in order to create a new node. Let's expand this tab. So this is the predefined class for the linked list. We will call this class function singly linked list node. Just copy it and paste it here. In the argument, we will passing the data. Data. This will create a new object and assign it to the variable node. After creating the new node, we need to perform the operations for two cases. For case one, that is head pointer is null. If the head pointer is null means we will assign the new node to the head pointer itself. If head equals none, head equals node. So this new node will be assigned to the head and we will return the head node at the end of the function. Else, now for the second case, case two, insert node at tail. To insert node at the tail, we need to traverse to the last element of the list. So we will create a temporary variable to do the operations. Temp equals head. Now we have to traverse to the end of the list. While temp.next not equals none. This while loop will break when it reaches the last element of the list. So when it reaches the last element, temp.next will be none. The loop will break. Until that, we have to move to the next pointer. Temp equals temp.next. So it will traverse to the end of the list. This will move the pointer to the next. After reaching the end of the list, we have to assign the new node at the end of the tail. So temp.next equals node. This will assign the new node to the tail of the list. After the insertion operation have been performed, we have to return the head of the link list. The main function will keep track of the head pointer in order to print the elements after performing all the operations. So we have to return the head pointer at the end of the function. So that's the overall logic of the program. If the head pointer is null means we will assign a new node to the head pointer directly. If it's not null means we will traverse to the end of the list and assign the new node at the tail. Finally, we will return the head pointer. Okay, let's run the code now. It passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. 
yeah we solved the problem if this video is helpful to you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos stay tuned for the next video